In this very quick tutorial we are going to talk about something that is called a message box. It can create an output like this. You have pressed OK. I will just drag the simple expert advisor on the chart and it says this is my headline and this is my message. And I've got an OK and a cancel button. Abbrechen is cancel in German. Now I will click this button and now it says you have pressed cancel. Now how can we create an expert advisor that is creating such a message box here and that is able to find out what kind of button a user pressed. To do that please click on the little button here or press F4 and now you should see the meta editor window and here you want to click on file, new, Expert Advisor from Template. Continue. I will call this one Simple Message Box and click on Continue. Continue and Finish. And now you can remove everything above the OnTick function here. And the two command lines. And the declaration for a message box is very simple. We create an instance of the message box by using the mql5 message box command and if you mark this and hit f1 on your keyboard you will see that the message box needs a few parameters. The first parameter here is the text of the message. In our case it will be this is my message. The second parameter will be the caption or here it is called the box header. And that will be the text, this is my headline in our case. And the third and last parameter is called flags. And it defines the buttons in the box. In our case we use mb underscore ok cancel because we want to see an ok and a cancel button. And whenever you press a button in your message box this integer value will be returned and now we want to check if the return value is 1. That is done by creating an if statement and if the value of pressed button, that's the return value for our message box, is equal to 1. We want to output the result on our chart and I know that this value will indicate that the button you have pressed was the OK button. So we use the command function to output you have pressed OK on our chart. Now we want to check if the return value is 2. So if the value for pressed button equals 2 and please see the two equal signs here on the chart. If you want to compare the value on the left side and the value on the right side, you need to use two equal signs. If you would use just one equal sign, that would mean that the value on the right side is assigned to the value on the left side. Don't fall into that trap, that can cost you lots of time. So if the pressed button equals 2, we use the command function to output the text you have pressed cancel on our chart. And in a last step we want to output the calculated value for the button. So we use print to generate the text pressed button equals and the calculated value for the button directly in our journal. Ok, if you are ready please click on the compile button and that should work without any errors and any warnings here. So now you can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you need to select the simple message box expert advisor in the navigator window and drop it on your chart. And the reason is it does not work in the strategy tester. That's kind of annoying but it also makes some sense because if you do a strategy test you want to trade a lot of positions in a very short time and it doesn't make any sense 
to click the OK or the Cancel button several hundred times a minute. So let's take the simple message box ex5 file and simply drop it on your chart. Click the OK button and if you click on OK it says you have pressed OK and when you click on Cancel it will say you have pressed Cancel. By the way, if you open the help file for message box, you will see that there is a possibility to modify the return values. And if you click on this link, you will get a list of all the buttons you can use. OK, now you know how to create a simple message box expert advisor and you have created it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.